Happy Sunshine Family. It is September 25th, 2017, about 10.30 p.m. Pacific Time. I want to pop on over here to the National Hurricane Center and let's take a look at the projections for Hurricane Maria. It's still off the coast. They got 11 p.m. Monday, still off the coast, and they're projecting it to still move further northward and then make a 90 degree turn, pretty much, and head off to the northeast. <clears throat> Looks like there might be hmm, some rain or something here. It, blue says tropical storm. The red and the brown, those are hurricane. So it's looking like they're calling for some tropical storm on the coast of North Carolina, pretty much. That's the way I read this. And we take a peek at IntelliCast and we can see that the moisture that's been hovering just off the coast is meeting up with Hurricane Maria. We got Hurricane Lee out here on deck batter, I guess. And we've got something going on again just a couple days later after we saw it the first time <clears throat> that's very, very similar. And we're going to head over to the composite feed and just get a load of this radar image. Just take this in for a while, guys. <clears throat> Look at what's going on down here in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, South Carolina, and even moving up into North Carolina a little bit. We've got this whole section here of the radars firing so hard it's green. We got spikiness uh, going between north and south stations in Florida. We've got rapid water vapor generation coming from Mexico along the border of Texas, inside Texas. We got our favorite spot here in New Mexico. This northeastern quadrant seems to spit out a lot of moisture vapor. And look at these storms that are just pretty much carrying due north here. And they are going up and just pounding the hell out of the Midwest. Iowa is just about all rain today, it looks like. Well, the radars towers in the Pacific Northwest have mostly settled down. It looks like they're starting to fire at least the Pendleton and Spokane and, you know, maybe a little bit in the Seattle. This is interesting. I'm wondering, is this... Hmm. San Francisco's on the coast. I'm guessing this is Sacramento here with this spike down to the southwest. A lot of spikiness from Southern California. Right down here with the Mexico, Arizona, California border, we have some interesting radar artifacts. Again, Houston has that northeast radar spike. Or sorry, northwest. I don't know what that's all about, but that has been a constant feature for quite a while. Got an interesting radar pattern popping up here right on the New Mexico, Mexico, Texas area. Very irregular shape. Definitely not 360 degrees. Almost looking like a butterfly or a moth. Well, I'd like to note that <clears throat> this same patch of real hot radar energy activity here, not so much in Florida, I don't think, but right around here, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee was firing really hard last night. And that's pretty close to where Marie is out here as far as proximity of the major land base to the storm. And I just wonder what kind of effect this has keeping these radar units firing like this 
nonstop for so long. You know, watching these radar images and how hot they are, it, this makes me wonder, is the electromagnetic manipulation of our weather, is, is that the cause of these mass die-offs, like the, these huge flocks of birds that drop dead, uh, apparently when they're flying in the air, uh, all the bees that have been dying, is, is this part of that? I wonder. But we can see that these storms are anything but natural, anything but acts of God, when you watch them over the course of a few days. And it really makes me wonder what the United States Air Force Project Forecast 2 was really all about coordinating. I wonder. These are crazy times that we live in. I just... Sometimes I go back and watch some of my videos and listen to my own voice and some of the reality of these observations sets in and and I just don't don't have any precedent I don't have any framework or guide for the kind of true seeking journey that it appears is being presented to all of us well thank you so much for all of your love light and your links if you've got anything for me, I would love to hear from you at lunacy at protonmail.com. L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E at protonmail.com. I think I've got another couple photos in my email box from some boots on the ground observations of weather patterns in Ireland. And we'll keep an eye on this whole north south corridor right across the center of the continental united states as we have plenty of observations of irregular weather patterns when compared to the prevailing weather patterns that we've been accustomed to in our country okay i love you guys a lot peace out bye bye